The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator through fun and discovering things in science. I can't wait to see what we have today. We have Professor Roy who brought all his equipment. Thank you. You're welcome. It's good to be with you. I can't wait to see what we're doing today. We have Abriana. Hi, Abriana. Dia. Dia, hi. Wade. Wade, how are you? Good. And Ishmael. Ishmael. Are you folks excited today? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's see what we're doing. What are we doing today? Well, it's all about sound. It's all about music and it's all about invention. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. now, now, Ishmael, you've got uh, an instrument in front of you right here. And you want to you wanna blow that for us? Let's see what that okay. is. <laughs> what does that sound like? A train. It's like a train. Well, we could go on a field trip on a train ride. Would that be fun? That would be fun. That'd be fun. That's an interesting instrument. Wade, what do you have in front of you there? What is that? I don't know. It's like it a, a recorder, recorder or a, a little light. flute. Well, why yeah. don't you play or blow in it? Yeah, and it's got little holes you can play different notes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Dia, what do you got? Uh, I don't know. You know, you know <laughs> it's actually a slide whistle. Okay. So you blow into it and you move that little slide up and down and it makes some interesting sounds. Check it out. <laughs> Whoa, you hear that? That's pretty cool. I like the sound of the slide whistle. And Abriana, what do you got over there? You don't know. You know, that's it's called a bowl, okay? And it's from the Middle East. And you just take that thing and you hit the side of it. Let go of your and hand, it should, though. And it should... There we go. <laughs> you hear that sound? That is an interesting sound. Well, all of these things are instruments, aren't they? Are they instruments? Mm -hmm. Now, Abriana, do you play an instrument? Yeah. What do you play? Yeah. You play a what? Piano. A piano. Interesting. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, when you play the piano, do you touch it in any way? Yeah. You do. What do you touch? The, the keys. The keys. That's exactly right. What do you play? Uh, uh, Ishmael, do you play an instrument? Uh, yes, a piano. Do your fingers touch the keys yep. of the piano? Really? That's interesting. Have you ever tried to play the piano without touching the keys? Um, once I've seen the pedals, when I move them, they the keys move. Oh, that's right. The pedals make the keys move a little bit. And Wade, what about you? Do you play an instrument? Yeah, I play the piano and the ukulele. And a ukulele. Now, when you play the ukulele, do you touch the strings? Yeah. You do? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Now, let's see. Dia, now you play uh, several musical instruments, don't you? I play the guitar and the ukulele. You, a guitar and ukulele. Now, you mm -hmm. brought your guitar with you today, didn't you? Yes. Hey, would you mind playing something for us? Hey, shall we? would it be fun to listen to her play her, her guitar? Yeah. Okay, well, let's watch her because I think she's going to have to touch the, the guitar in order to play it. Don't you think she'll have to touch it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's listen carefully. I wonder what she's going to play. Anybody know that song? Yes. It was Jesus Loves Me. That is cool, isn't it? Well, you know, we're going to talk about somebody that invented a musical machine way back in, let's see, 1919. That's a long time ago, isn't it? Yeah. His name was Leon Theremin. And Leon Theremin, he invented what we now call a theremin. A theremin. The theremin is this machine right here. Hey, Wade, why don't you come over here, here with me over here? This is our theremin machine. Now, in order to play it, you don't have to touch it. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So all you have to do is get close to it, and you have two hands. You have two hands? Yeah. Okay. Now, your left hand is going to come over here, okay? And you don't have to touch it, but when your hand is real close to this, then that's your volume volume hand. Okay. okay, if the volume is real low, you can't hardly hear it. If you want it to be louder, then you get your hand further away. Interesting, okay. isn't it? Yeah. And the notes are over here with your right hand. When your hand's real close to that antenna right here, then it's a very high note, very, very high note. And if you want the note to go lower and lower, then you have to move your hand back further, further, and further. And if you want vibrato, 
you know, that kind of wobbly sound. You kind of like sometimes we find that even in guitars and violins and, and string instruments. Then you can wiggle your hand a little bit and you get vibrato. Okay. So you want to try that? Sure. Yeah. Okay, but we have to touch it to turn it on because it's an electronic <laughs> instrument. So I'm going to turn it on. Put your hand real close to the volume, okay? And get your hand close to there. And we want to hear it, so make this hand go further away. You hear that? that hard to play? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. That was awesome. You know, Leon Theremin, he invented this instrument, like I said, way back in 1919. You know, he was from Soviet Russia. And he invented this machine because he was working in a laboratory and he was doing some gas uh, analyzing in a, in a laboratory. And all of a sudden his hand reached over a pipe and it made a sound. And he said, wow, that's kind of strange. And he got to thinking about it. He said, you know, I could invent an instrument that you could play without having to touch it. Now that's really interesting to me. So let's see, you know, I, I'm wondering who else wants to play this machine? Ishmael, why don't you come over here? Why don't you give this a try? You can okay? come closer, let's Get your hand closer. real close to this. Let's come close. Okay, there we go. We need... You recognize that song? No? That's one of my Sounds favorite like songs. Whale. <laughs> Sounds Is that like fun to play? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for doing that. Uh, Brianna, you want to give it a try? You don't. Okay, what about Dia? Uh, You're dying to try it. I know you are. Come You're on, not dying to come try on. It. Okay, yes, you'll do it. We'll talk her into it. Okay, there you go. Yep. So Need some more volume. Get your hand further away. There you go. That's cool. That you know, this cool. same instrument, the same type of instrument, model of instrument, has been played with full orchestration background, and it's an amazing instrument. There's about 100 people in the entire world that are masters of this instrument. Very beautiful instrument, but hard to learn. Yeah, we haven't had Aunt Francine. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I'm not musical. Shall we listen to her play? I can't wait to try it. Like, do you, play? you play a musical instrument. I though. played the flute. The flute. When I was growing up, and I'm trying to learn the guitar, but I need a lot more practice. Okay, well, let's see what you can come up with right here. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, finding a song would be really hard. Like, mm -hmm. how do you learn the music for this one? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm sorry, amazing. that's hard to... <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's fun! That was amazing. Well, when he invented this instrument, in fact, it was uh, 1919, a long time ago, and it wasn't even patented until, what, 1929 or so. But he showed the, the, prime, the premier uh, Lennon, and he was so excited about this discovery and this invention, he sent him on a world tour oh, to wow. show the entire world. He came to the United States, and he was actually a spy to the United States. Isn't that interesting? Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, you know what they did? They kidnapped him back to Soviet Russia and they put him in jail. Isn't that interesting? Oh. And then they got him out of prison. Then they, made, then they made him a hero, which is kind of interesting to me. But that's very interesting. But, you know, we can't see the electronic frequencies. There's EMFs. Ooh. There's electronic uh, frequencies coming out of that antenna right there but we can't see them. And also this antenna over here. But you, what we can do is we can do what? We can play the instrument though, right? All we have to do is we have to get close to that. We get close to it, then we can play. Wasn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting way of looking at sound. Didn't even have to touch the instrument. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. yeah. It is. Hey, let's have some fun with some more sound. And let's see, let's see. Now, Dia, could you get the tubes for us? We've got some tubes. Now, these look like toys, but they're really musical instruments, okay? We call them Kruger horns, okay? And Nate, if you could go ahead and get the other things on, uh, Wade, rather, if you could get the other things on their table right here, let's see what we can come up with, okay? All right, just set those down here, all right? 
Now, now these are our tubes. These are tubes. They're just hollow tubes, and you hold them in your hand like this, okay? And so I'm going to okay, hand right. you one over. Ishmael, why don't you come over okay. up here, and you can hang that on one hand right here. And let's see, Wade. And now, no, Wade's going to come right he's back He's coming here. back there someplace, yep. all right? And Dia, why don't you, why don't you stand back here? Uh, let's see. And Arianda, if you come up here, all right, there we go. Come, come way up here. Now, how do we get some sound out of those? What do you think? Blow through them. You hold them in. What's that? Blow through them. You blow through them? Well, try it. Blow through it. Do you get any sound out of it? No. Not too much. So we're going to put it in your hand and we're going to make it go around and around in your hand. Around and around. Whoa. Whoa. Are you hearing something? I'm hearing some music. Are you hearing some music? Ariana, I'm hearing some music. Now, that's interesting. Okay, now wait, now slow down a little bit. Now let's see, what I, what I want to do is I want to hear this one all by itself. So go as slow as you can, but still make a sound. Okay, interesting. All right, oh, here we go. How fast can you go? Make it real fast. That's a higher note, isn't it? Yeah. Because the air is going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the ears fell apart. Now that's oh. interesting. You, it went so fast it fell apart. Interesting. Now I'm wondering, Dia, could you make it, go as slow as you can, but make a sound. And then speed it up a little bit. You hear the sound change? Mm -hmm. The pitch yeah. changed a little bit. The air's going through that tube and it's going at different velocities. How fast can you go? Whoa, that's really cool. And how fast can you go? So these tubes, we could play about five different notes with those tubes. Isn't I'm going higher. You can get one really high? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's right. Pretty soon you're going to start to fly away with it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's see. Hey, I've got one more thing I want to show you. Hey, why don't you come real close over here, okay? And, you know, hey, let's get, can you get that purple Frisbee down right here? Come real close because I've got something I want to share with This is interesting. I've got some musical instruments. Do you know what these are right here? Yeah. yeah. Well, these, these happen to be forks, okay? These are, these are forks and forks. What do you do with a fork? You eat with a fork, but you don't eat with these forks. What you do is these are what? These are tuning forks. That's how we might tune up an instrument. Uh, Ariana, you need to come a little closer right here. So what I have right here, if I close. take this fork right here and I hit it on there, can you hear that? Mm -hmm. This is vibrating 256 times every second. That's really fast, isn't it? So get real close, and I want you to see we can vibrate the water with this. Are you ready? Let's vibrate, get real close. It's real small. I'm gonna vibrate the water, check it out. <laughs> oh, do you see that? It yeah. vibrated the water right into you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I played a little trick on you, but these, we have to have what? Vibration in order to have sound, don't we? Yeah. And that proves it right here. We had vibration, I get to hear it in the air, put it in the water, it vibrated the water. I think that's amazing. And it reminds me that we can have fun in science, right? Yeah. And learn about science, but you know what? I didn't foresee that that was going to splash us, but I should have thought about it, right? I should have thought about it because what? We know that we need vibrations, right? And I didn't expect that, but you know, sometimes we don't expect things to happen, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we know that I'm thinking of something that we don't see. Let's go to our Bible text. Wait, can you grab our Bible text? Yeah. And let's go to John 3 verse 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. So, do we see the Holy Spirit moving in other people's lives? Yes. No. We can? Mm -hmm. Sometimes We can see the effects of it, right? Yeah. But we don't know when the Holy Spirit is in something, in someone's heart, do we? We don't see it. And that reminds me of angels. And sometimes we don't see angels, but sometimes they're there to help us. All we have to do is say, Jesus, please help me, right? Right. Well, I, and that's what we can do. I appreciate you joining us for Creation is Science! Science!